Hello, traders out there in Traderland. My name's Des here at Grok Trade on Tuesday, January 15th, 2013. Retail sales come out this morning and they beat, uh, they rose by 0.5% in December led mostly by auto and furniture and clothing sales. It looks like that was good news. Markets reacted positively to that. However, some news is breaking here from the AP saying the Treasury Secretary Geithner says that the government has begun borrowing from the Federal Employee Pension Fund to keep operating without surpassing its debt limit. Interesting. Let's take a quick look here before we get into apples problems, but the S&P is up 0.11%, the Dow is up 0.20%, NASDAQ is down, and that's because of Apple, down 0.22%, Russell's up a half a percent, Banks up 0.3%, VIX up, so we're still hovering around that 1350 area, Gold up 0.6%, Silver up over a percent, Crude oil down 0.8%. 5%, and the U.S. dollar is up almost 0.3%, and that should have brought the markets down more than it did, but it, it, retail sales helped out quite a bit, and corporate earnings being released today came out favorably also. And here we're looking at the transportation index up 07 and we have utilities up 026 and Apple on fire gang so check this out yesterday I was talking about this formation I said if we got a gap up and a run this would be a abandoned baby very rare exotic type reversal pattern and we could see a sizable run after that however that is off because today we actually got down and continue down on big volume ouch now this is problematic big big time drop However, we're coming to a level that could be a buying opportunity. Let's take a look at this. We have resistance here. You see that resistance turning into a support area here, support area here, support area here. We are knocking at that door $480. I'm expecting to see buyers come in. I could see this thing drop lower and then rally back getting a hammer. If we get a hammer at around 480 and then we get a higher high, ooh, yummy. That could be a great opportunity. But let's go look at a weekly chart. Now, weekly chart, we have resistance, resistance, resistance. Sure enough, we hit resistance, we doji, we drop so far. Not too great here. But we come over here, we'll see we have resistance here. We have support here. From that support, we come down support, support, and we're at that support area. So it would not surprise me, gang, to see this area act as a uh, place for buyers to start coming in. Be watching that. Now, monthly, this dude is just dropping. The next meaningful area of support, $405. On the weekly chart, if it breaks through all this area in the 100 uh, uh, week moving average. If it breaks through all this, next logical area of support is going to be 422 and some change. So 422 is the area of support, and then on the monthly, 405 is an area of support. But we are now below the 20 a month moving average. However, if we do get a bounce off the 480, buyers come in, this could easily come back up above the 20 month moving average. So Pass this on to all your buddies because everybody's watching Apple and you won't get any clearer and better trading or as far as technical analysis is concerned on Apple than right here. Oh, and let me show you this one other thing. If I make this to go to a MACD, and you can see here on this MACD, if I draw a trend line from this swing low up right here. Now, this is a little more advanced. My Grok graduate students will get this. But if you if you look at this, you have these higher swings here. You have these lower swings here. Bullish divergence that could be very bullish. The problem is here's the problem: we have cracked a support line right here. 
this dude needs to get back and get back quickly for the markets to really have any meaningful chance or the or the apple to have any meaningful chance to the upside rally so be watching this dude like a hawk and we do have the PPI or the CPI coming out tomorrow. That will give us good indication what's going on with inflation nowadays. And per usual. All right, let's go over here and take a look at the SPX. This is the S&P 500. What's going on with the markets as a whole? Let's get rid of this red line. But here's the skinny. What we have is this big pop, high base. We try to pop, no rally, no follow through through that, but we get another base. We are setting up for another little pop. What we need, though, is a pop to have a leg like this leg. We need an extension because right now this is a little mini-me rally at a resistance point that could easily fail. So remember, you don't buy and listen to me, all you grad graduates out there. There's a ton of you now. Do not, do not, do not buy a high base or a low base. We are look, we are buying confirmation breakouts or selling confirmation breakdowns. Huge difference between the two, and keep special attention to the major trend line coming through that acted as resistance. Now pop. Now it's acting as a support level. Main trend line coming up right here, still a resistance point. So be watching that. And on the weekly chart, you'll see this. We have a nice little run, but we're starting to roll over. You can see these highs not getting as high. Where it's a rolling over effect so far for the week. And I know we're only two days into it. We have a doji. We have a tweezer top, and in, in even a hanging man type um, formation here, that is not good for the markets because if we do get a lower low, that could be a confirmation of a downward move going into the next few weeks. How, unless this major trend line coming down can act as support. Anyway, hope to have the privilege to have you as a student coming up this weekend. Listen to what comes up next. My name is Todd Muffley. I'm the owner of Fat Adam Internet Marketing. I've been in uh, Carmel for five years and in trading for about four. Before mentoring, my trading was erratic and losing. After mentoring, I, uh, after going through the mentoring process, the biggest thing that I found was a system. And a system that basically said if you follow these rules and you do it religiously, then you will be successful. Mentoring benefits to me were having somebody that you could call on and talk to um, after the mentoring I think is important because you know it's like going to college when you go to college it's uh, it's great when you have the teacher in front of you but afterwards who do you call on when you need advice um, so that was a big thing the other part that I liked about mentoring in the process was that um, does go slow and methodical through the process and so I, I never felt like I was being rushed into something that I didn't have complete comprehensive knowledge over before we went on to the next item uh, of course I'd recommend them and the biggest reason why is because just like you have a trading education um, that everybody you know wants to garner um, I think it's important to have that in a formal um, platform um, instead of just going out and doing your own research and you know maybe reading a book here or there um, or following a strategy it's in my opinion a good thing to have a comprehensive program which is tried and tested and true rather than just hey you know you, you should follow this uh, stock pattern and only trade it um, if I was on the fence about it I would just evaluate my past 50 trades and see how I did and you know if I'm a rock star and I'm kicking butt then you know maybe I would evaluate it a little bit more but if my last 50 trades have been shaky or um, you know the wild wild west I guess you could say then I would definitely say it's something that you should look at um, the other thing is just don't believe you know these testimonials um, actually reach out to the the mentors at Grok Trade and figure it out um, with them to talk to people individually um, so you can get a one-on-one -on -one representation from somebody who's been through it as well so it's not just you know a quote-unquote salesperson telling you um, how good it is, but actually learn from the people who've been there.